Hey, welcome back to a new video of monthly favorites. Uh, as you can see in the title, uh, there's also going to be a giveaway. So don't forget to stay till the end of the video so you can participate. Uh, since I have subscribers both England, English and French, um, all of the um, procedures to participate to this giveaway is going to be in the, both languages. So, pour toutes les personnes qui ne euh, comprennent pas bien l'anglais, euh, je vais présenter des sous-titres euh, pour que vous puissiez les lire comme d'habitude, mais euh, tous les, toutes les informations par rapport au giveaway vont être aussi expliquées en français. So, let's start with the actual products. So, uh, my first product is not Korean, but well, I can like some things that is from home, right? Um, it's uh, from Lush, it's the fluff, or in French, for my uh, friends that will go to francophone uh, stores, à poil. It's a um, strawberry shaving soap. It's really, the texture is amazing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see correctly. The smell is just perfect and since I tend to get some rash when I use um, shaving soaps, well I was really happy to find this one that is actually, uh, it doesn't provoke any rash or any redness or anything so I was really happy to find this little thing. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but I think it's worth every penny because even with sensitive skin, you don't have problems. So I would recommend this one 100%. Um, from Innisfree, I tried the Canola One Lip Balm Deep Moisture. It's a regular lip balm, you know, it's white. Um, what I like is it's really really moisturizing i have problems with lip balms i can't use the regular drugstore lip balm lip balm and even some of the really expensive one it doesn't work for me and i i'm sometimes desperate to find something that will work and actually this one i just took a chance you don't you can't even know how many lip balms that i ended up putting in the trash because you can't really give a lip balm right because it would dry even more my lips but this one I use every day and really really a good thing really moisturizing of course Innisfree is not really easy to get outside of Korea but I would say go for it again from Innisfree yeah I really really like this brand they give they have so many great products so here is another one it's the um, sweet fruit village body lotion so it looks like this with the pump which is really great and it smells uh, amazing um, it's not like that moisturizing it's not a really like winter um, product more a little bit like a summer thing when you need hydration because of being dehydrated or the sun or anything but it smells like fruit punch and it's really really amazing so and it doesn't you know sometimes you put some lotion and there's like a film on your skin like greasy or sticky or something it doesn't do that at all it's really really something great of course since it's a brand product it's a little bit more expensive than what you can get in the drugstore but you know for me it was worth it because I usually use this one you know from the drugstore the Cetaphil one that is uh, no perfume uh, no nothing no uh, well you know doctors recommend this one so <laughs> It's probably best, but sometimes, you know, you want something that, you know, a little bit of nice smell or just so I would recommend this one because I really like it. Of course, if you like more floral uh, scent, well, you know, Innisfree has uh, also some more floral scent. So if you can uh, 
find something that you like probably the formula is the same for all of the smells so I would say go for it um, this one is not um, one of my favorite of the month because I already talked about that um, it's the Nature Republic uh, bamboo charcoal nose and t-zone um, mask but it is the products the product you can get in my giveaway so since I'm talking about skincare and everything I'm putting it here so to enter the giveaway uh, you just have to put a comment in the comment section explaining to me why you would like to get this one of course the, um, <laughs> the contest is open worldwide because well if I'm just doing it locally you just, just can go to the store and buy it so just tell me why what's the good reason why I should uh, send this to you um, and I will of course contact the um, the winner I will announce the winner with a video and contact it via uh, the um, <coughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm going to contact the person via YouTube channel, so don't forget to open your ask box just for me if you want to win that. If you say, oh, but you have only one thing, but there's only one person that's going to win it, and of course that person must be one of my subscribers. Well, I have a second, second prize in a way, maybe a third, I'm going to think about it. And I, you know, in Korea, you get lots and lots of samples. So I decided to give some samples for a second, a second and maybe third prize. I'm going to think about it. So if you want to win one of these products, mostly probably this one, just comment in the section and tell me why you want to win. So let's go back to the products. Well, I know it's not really something <laughs> original or anything, but that pocket bag from Nature Republic, great flavor, is so amazing. I mean, it tastes like grape juice, you know, the real one, the one that tastes really good with sugar in it. So this one, it's only for the smell because, I mean, it's a pocket bag. So this one is really one of my favorite uh, now. Well, all of the pocket that I tried in my life this one is perfect and it stays a little bit on your skin when you apply it but not too long maybe uh, 10 minutes so if you don't want your hands to smell like grape for 10 minutes maybe you should not use it but I mean for me it's just perfect and I'm gonna stay with the fragrance uh, it's a body and air perfume mist uh, from Too Cool for School uh, named Coco Doll. And I really like this one because, well, you can put it in your hair, so I like it better. Most of the time, you know, it's not recommended to put perfume, perfume in your hair. So this one is really, really um, not damaging since it's supposed to be for that. And the smell is, uh, let's say, a little bit like grapefruit. I know everything like will probably send uh, be scented like fruits because I'm not really into floral sometimes yes but usually not so and citrus I really like citrus so of course when I found this one which was kind of pricey in a way if you think about it it was um, 15 or 19,001 but since you don't have to use that much, like one, two sprays for your air and body, um, I was like, oh, okay, it's gonna, it's gonna last kind of quite some time. So I decided to get this one, and I don't, don't, uh, I don't think it was a waste of money. I really like it. So I have only two uh, makeup products this month, and of course <laughs> it's lip products. You're probably getting used to it um, not because I dislike eye product or anything it's just like lip product is my thing so that's why you're probably always gonna get lip product in my favorite so this one it's really a new thing for me it's the Misha Longwear Cushion Lip Crayon 
and actually it's a really deep red color so I'm gonna swatch it for you I really like it um, everybody needs a really bright red color but there is something that I was kind of oh really because you know the trend in Korea it's more lip tint and then lips uh, lip stick or lip gloss um, so I was oh okay you have a cushion on the other end to smudge the um, the crayon and make it look like a lip tint so <laughs> I didn't try to smudge it because I'm absolutely no good at that so it would probably end up making a mess and red stains a lot so probably my I would look like a clown so I didn't try the cushion but I was like oh that's a good that's a good idea probably I would end up using it to wipe everything like the red when <laughs> you don't put it correctly um, I like it it doesn't dry your lips the color as you can see is a really nice color so this one and Misha is a really good brand actually so I would recommend it to everyone and there's a quite a quite range of color maybe a 10 color different color from pink to red to purple so you have a little bit of everything for everybody and my last product is from Belila Co uh, yeah I know packaging uh, zero but um, it's um, Vanilla Co it moist seal tint in lacquer that's what I'm wearing today so the color is a little bit when you take it out of the, um, the actual tube it's a little bit scary but it's not as scary when you put it on your lips since it's a lip tint of course it, it doesn't give you the op uh, opacity of a lipstick but I think it's something that is better it doesn't dry your lips it lasts longer than a lipstick but it doesn't stain that much not that I would dislike it to stain because it would be a, it's a lip tint but I like to change color sometimes during the day so <laughs> I'm weird like that so this one stays but not too much that with that kind of color it would be hard to say let's put some pink after that so that's why I like it a lot. this month uh, for the music I recommend you uh, they're not new actually but I uh, saw them first um, this month at uh, Inkigayo uh, I went to music festival and they were performing there um, they're called the legend or legend uh, they started in 2014 and they have maybe they have a mini album and two or three singles now so they're quite new but actually I liked their energy I like the way they sing it's a little bit more rock than k-pop so I would say go for it if you want to see something a little bit new maybe you did heard about hear about them so if you do talk to me about what you think about them um, I'm always always happy to know when people are really fans of a group whatever wherever they are from and of course I was a little bit into the classic this month so I would say go and listen paradise from infinite um, they are my group so of course mostly I'm gonna talk about them uh, because they have so many uh, albums to choose from and this one I needed something that was a little bit a classic something I can count on something I know so go for it uh, paradise or over the top uh, paradise is the repackage from over the top and of course the song Paradise which is one of my favorite of that group is on that's why probably I was listening to this particular CD from them and I have a little something I bought it's just my favorite because I'm a baby so um, my uh, this is my cell phone really old and crappy but anyway it works and it was compatible for Korea so good and I had a little macaroon on my phone but it always gets stuck in everything and 
it was always ending up in the in my purse somewhere I never lost it and I'm really lucky so I still have it somewhere in a drawer but I was kind of uh, done with that but I felt like it was a little bit plain without anything so I just bought like that cute little bottle of Macaulay with the little spoon so I know it's really it's why are you putting that in your favorite that's stupid yes it is but you know I'm like that I like to put stupid things so I hope you liked my uh, favorite of this month if there are some products that you um, saw um, well talk to me about it what did you like what did you dislike about that so I'm just gonna put um, a little uh, disclaimer about um, the process for the giveaway in French and then uh, I'm gonna be probably gone so si vous voulez participer à mon giveaway, euh, il suffit bien sûr d'être un subscriber euh, à ma chaîne. Euh, je vous demande seulement de me présenter un petit commentaire pour dire pourquoi vous êtes la meilleure personne qui pourrait gagner ce prix. Euh, évidemment, euh, <rire> je vais choisir parmi euh, tous les euh, participants, que ce soit en anglais ou en français, vous pouvez écrire votre commentaire dans la langue qui vous plaît. J'espère, je vous souhaite euh, une bonne chance pour participer et évidemment, comme je l'ai dit tout à l'heure, je fais aussi euh, tirer un lot, peut-être deux parce que quand même ça en fait plusieurs, euh, d'échantillons d'un peu toutes les marques coréennes ici, il n'y a que des produits coréens. Donc si vous voulez participer, dites-moi seulement pourquoi vous voulez gagner. So, I hope you really like it and just before I go, I want you to do a little something for me. If you participate, I want you, because some of these um, samples and everything are for kind of different people. So I want to know what you, what is your age? Just put the number and then I want to enter the giveaway. And if you don't put that, you're not gonna be participating. I'm gonna disqualify you from the contest. Donc, comme je viens de le dire, euh, tous les échantillons que j'ai là ne sont pas pour les mêmes personnes. Donc, si vous voulez participer au concours, vous devez me mettre votre âge, à peu près, pas besoin que ce soit exact, mais à peu près votre âge, seulement le chiffre et je veux participer au concours. Euh, si ceci n'est pas placé avec votre commentaire, vous êtes disqualifié du concours. Donc, je vous remercie et... I hope you like it and see you for the results, maybe, right?